The siblings, Amisha and Hugo, ventured into the unknown depths of the island they found themselves on. With new information to go on, they ventured out to explore the island further. They traversed through the palace grounds and ventured into the village. Along the way, they were intercepted by Sophia, who was aware that one of their former companions, Arno, was in jail. Amisha revealed that Arno had betrayed them, much to Sophia's surprise. As they continued their journey, Hugo found a statue of a bird that closely resembled the one from his dreams. The statue appeared to be pointing at something, so the group decided to follow where it was leading. They soon realized that the statues were guiding them in a spiral towards the center of the island. The bird statues ultimately led them to concealed ruins, which appeared to have been an ancient theater. The ruins were overgrown. But Amisha used her knowledge of alchemy to burn away the vegetation and reveal a map of the island. Sophia, an expert on ancient civilizations, believed the map to be centuries old and likely from the Byzantine era. Hugo identified the symbol of the order, and Amisha explained more about the order's history to Sophia. With the map in hand, they set out to find their next destination, the mountains that Hugo had been calling the teeth. Sophia identified them as Las Madres, the mothers. The map showed a temple located in the mountains called Sanctuary, and the trio set out to find it. The journey was long and treacherous, but they finally reached the base of the mountain and began the climb to the temple. Soon they found themselves in a decorated section of the island. A trail of pink petals led through the ruins. Soldiers were deployed everywhere, and the trio had to be careful to avoid detection. With Sophia's prism and Amisha's skills, they managed to sneak past the guards and make their way to the gate. They approached the sanctuary, where they could hear the Count and Countess calling that the ceremony would begin soon, but they were waiting for a few latecomers. The trio approached a small gathering of people in red robes and masks, each accompanied by a child. The Count and Countess began the ceremony, and the siblings and Sophia watched in secret. Amisha and Hugo, along with a group of others, disguise themselves and attempt to blend in with a cult known as the Order. Inside the sanctuary, they observe a symbol of the Order hanging from the ceiling and listen to the Count and Countess tell the story of a child born on the island. In the next room, Amisha and Hugo recognize a fresco from their mother's laboratory at home. The Countess chooses Amisha and Hugo to carry a torch through a series of trials, and they soon discover that the cult's religion is based on a misinterpreted history of a carrier from centuries ago. They return to the group in a large, dark temple where the cultists are chanting. The Countess reveals herself as the leader and ignites a brazier, revealing a statue of the Child of Embers beneath a phoenix. Sophia, a companion, leads the trio to a passage around the back, where they find a courtyard with a pond and a large weeping willow. Hugo runs to the water in hopes of a cure, but is disappointed when it doesn't heal him. Amisha shows him a child's throne with the names Basilius and Elia carved on the back, revealing that they must find a cure here. The trio discover Basilius' untouched room, where they learn that he was treated like a king. They also find Elia's room, where she was a fierce warrior and had a close relationship with Basilius. In the next room, they find a mosaic of the phoenix, which is also the symbol of the order. Sophia remarks that this may be why the symbol is above the carrier in every depiction. The trio then find an alchemical laboratory, where they realize that the order experimented on Basilius. They also find a library with scrolls written in Latin, which reveal that Basilius was taken away from Aelia and she was taken to a chapel in a fort. As they prepare to leave, they hear the Count and Countess enter the courtyard. The trio escape through a grate by walking through dirty water and discussing Hugo's dream. Amisha wants to go to the fort where Elia was taken, but Hugo is disappointed that his dream wasn't literal. Amisha and Sophia reassure him that the dream did help them to learn more about the cult and their search for a cure. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe. But your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. <laughs>